Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Monday, October 31st, 2022. And the Lord's Word says, Look beyond. Titus chapter 2 verse 13 reads, Looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of the great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Christianity, we live for a hope beyond this world. The substance of our hope doesn't exist in this plane of life. Paul said, We are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For other man seeth, why that he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. This is in Romans chapter 8, verse 24 to 25. Notice what Paul said by the Spirit, that we are saved by hope. The scripture says, These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. This is in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13. Pastor explains that there is a kind of blessing that the hope of our calling as Christians gives us. It saves us from wilderness and gives us confidence in the coming of the Lord. Many Christians today seem to lose sight of the hope of our calling. But that's what drove the early church and apostles to the seat of Peter when they demonstrated to the Lord and to the preaching of the gospel. They lived for the world to come. They didn't care for this world and for its fleeting treasures. They looked for a better world, a country whose builder and maker is God. Persecutions were not enough to draw them back. They were conscious of the treasures they could store in heaven with their short-lived years on earth. In the chapter 8 of Romans, when Paul talks about the hope of our calling, he spoke about our adoption. That's the redemption of our body and the weight of the incomparable glory that shall be revealed in us as sons of God when the Lord Jesus returns. Jesus told us to lay up our treasures in heaven and not on the earth, to live for the heavenly call. Don't become earthly minded and lose sight of the most important element of your faith in Christian practices. Paul told Timothy, For godly exercise profited little, for godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. This is in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Please make this declaration with me. I am a child of God, and I live for the hope of my calling. I don't put my hope and confidence in this world. Rather, I store up treasures in heaven where moth and thief cannot destroy. I live worthy of my heavenly call. Hallelujah. As a reflection, no matter what happens in this world, the hope of our Christianity is in heaven. So look beyond this world. Read John chapter 4 verse 17 and Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 2. With Herald of Glory devotional, Every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Glorifield Chrysler, Herald in the Glorious Church.